Hello everyone, Sensei Lewis here from Ninja Abingdon Martial Arts. Um, and today I'll be going over with you uh, a little bit about the uh, Shinobi Shizoku. Um, you know, what it is and how to put it on. Um, so Shinobi Shizoku uh, was uh, quote unquote the ninja uniform. Now, you know, ninja back in the day would wear all types of different things. Um, the main part of a ninja was to uh, blend in. So, you know, they didn't go out and wear this, you know, uniform, you know, in the daylight, uh, you know, traveling around with a sword on their hip. You know, that's just movie stuff. Um, they did whatever it took to blend in. So, you know, if they needed to be a missionary or, or a priest, you know, that was technically the ninja uniform. However, did the ninja wear Shinobi Shizoku, which is, you know, the original garments? Yes, they did. But um, it wasn't always just one color. Um, it all depended on what type of mission they were going on. So, you know, they, they wore black, they wore blues, they wore browns, reds, you know, white. Um, you know, it, it all depended on what the surrounding area, um, you know, what color it was uh, on what they wore and what... Uh, depending on what time of the day it was, you know, what color they wore, or if there was a moon out or not, you know, what color they wore. So, I'm not going to get too much involved in the history behind the Shinobi Shizoku. Um, you know, there's some stuff you can find online. Not Most of it's not good, but, uh, you know, you can still find some stuff online in certain books and stuff like that. Um, so... I'm going to show you uh, how we put ours on um, and, uh, you know, and go from there. Um, also, uh, basically, here at Ninja Abingdon Martial Arts, we don't really wear Shinobi Shizoku in class or anything like that. Uh, we might, you know, uh, dabble in it um, a little bit, you know, if we do uh, an outdoor seminar or something like that. Uh, but, you know, it's not like we're, we have class here and we dress up and... Uh, ninja garments and stuff like that uh, but we do like to keep the history and tradition alive so we do teach it uh, a little bit um, you know here and there um, and if students uh, have questions about it we, we do teach it so um, we'll start off uh, with what I'm wearing now um, you don't have to do this this is uh, my personal preference um, so I you know dress in a black t-shirt black shorts black socks okay um, so first I'm going to put on my regular martial arts gi pants again you don't have to do this you can just wear shorts underneath your shinobi shizoku but when I'm out in the woods training you know in a seminar or something uh, I like to uh, be very covered up because of like you know uh, bugs and stuff like that, like ticks and stuff like that. I don't want I, I don't want that those kind of bugs to get on me. Uh, next, uh, I'll put on uh, my jigatabi. Okay, all of the stuff that I'm showing you uh, we got from uh, nimpomart.com. Um, so uh, if you're looking for good ninja uh, quality stuff go to their website um, they make some great products uh, a lot of them are directly from Japan um, but uh, you know uh, most I would say 90 90% 90 of these products we got from nimpomar.com so put your jikatabi on these are the velcro style um, it doesn't matter, you can get the clip on style. I like the Velcro style because it, they're easier to put on and, and it's fast. You're going to tuck your gi pants inside your jikatabi. Like so. Okay. Uh, next, you're going to put on the guitar. 
again, we got this, uh, this is actually a Shinobi Shizoku jacket from Nimpomart.com. Very high quality. Um, it's got many hidden pockets in it for uh, Shuriken, Metzabush, um, and any other tools that you need to carry on you. So as you can see, um, you know, hidden pockets right there. And there's one right here. Good place for a bow shirt again. Okay. Um, I got the dark blue. Um, I actually have them in all different colors, but I got the dark blue out today. Um, it's one of my favorite ones. Put on the, G the gi jacket. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to put on uh, the obi. To make this a very simple process to put on um, the obi, wrap it up first, just like so. You'll take one end of the OB and uh, go like this with it, and then uh, start wrapping it around. When you have a little bit excess, you're going to fold it like so, grab that other piece that you originally had underneath, and that will make your, your uh, bow tie. Make sure everything's nice and snug. Okay. Put the bow tie to the back. Next, uh, with this uh, Nimpo Mark Shizoku, you get an Ika Bakama. So it's just like a Hakama, um, but um, has the ties on the end. Tie the front first, wrap it around the back, like so. Tie it just like this and wrap it around again around the back. And you'll make a knot in the back like that. You'll have a lot of excess, don't worry about that. Throw it down in here. And bring it back up. You're going to put these ties through the other ones. 
pull everything super tight. And you're going to tie everything together. Then you can make your, you can tuck these away. I like to do the traditional uh, bow tie. So, whatever your preference is, there's no really right or wrong way to do it. Or it could also depend on what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, next, I'll tie the, the bottom. Okay, um, with, with this uh, Shinobi Shizoku, uh, it also uh, comes with uh, Kiahan, the leg wraps. Um, I don't like to wear those um, when I have the Iga Bakuma on, but you can put those on over the Iga Bakuma um, on the lower half of your legs, obviously. Um, and they, they have hidden pockets in them as well. So, um, uh, next uh, is going to. Uh, be the arms. So uh, if I can get some assistance here, you can do it yourself, but it's a lot easier if you have somebody do it for you. So this is, you know, like a regular kimono style sleeve, but it needs to be tied. So Next comes the uh, Teiko, uh, the arm wraps. Uh, traditionally, uh, the traditional Teiko would uh, uh, just wrap around the wrists. Uh, it wouldn't cover the hands, but uh, this is uh, the only style uh, that I have right now, so uh, we're going to use these. Make sure everything's tucked in very nice. get um, the uh, headpiece that you get uh, from Nippon Mart is a traditional style uh, Fukumen. So uh, the traditional style Fukumen is one piece. Um, it's probably, I don't know, I'd probably say it's pretty long. Uh, it's definitely taller than me. Um, but, uh, and I'm, I'm almost six foot. So, <coughs> um, uh, basically, this was used if uh, a ninja would uh, have a top knot. 
So the back would be the back of the head would be open. It wouldn't be covered. Uh, so I'll show you how to put the single piece on, and then uh, I like to wear a two piece, uh, 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 a traditional uh, zuking. Uh, so uh, I'll show you that way as well. But since I am uh, bald, obviously, um, I wear uh, a, a mask that I got off of eBay to cover the back of my head because uh, I'm not I'm not that dark colored. So I, I want to make sure that um, you know I blend in at night and stuff like that. So um, this piece is probably cost me like five dollars uh, with shipping. It's basically a motorcycle headpiece. And I wear this, like I said, so that the back of my head is covered when I if I wear the, the Fukumen. Very difficult to do this without a mirror, so. Take one of the pieces and wrap it around your mouth. You can cover your nose as well. Actually, around the back first. Try to tuck in the excess in the back. Just like that. So your head your head is open back here. Okay. That's how you wear the one piece. Next, uh, I'll show you how to wear a two-piece, which I prefer. So you're going to have a big square piece of material, or I should say a big rectangular piece of material, and then a skinny uh, rectangular, rectangular piece of material like so. So the big, square, uh, big rectangular piece goes first. Same way you put on the original Fukumen, you put on the Zukin, the first piece, same way. Like I said, it's not going to be perfect because I don't have a mirror in front of me, but I'll try to do the best I can. this away. And 
and then obviously this goes like this. And just like that, that is how we put on the Shidobi Shizoku. Um, and this was taught to us, um, you know, through our, our training, my training. Um, there's also a kuden or secret um, of you putting on an obi or belt before the Shizoku uh, is put on, the actual Shizoku. Um, and there's a secret to that obi of how to properly uh, uh, wear shuriken with that obi underneath your sh uh, shizoku, but um, I'm not going to explain that. You have to come to my dojo and uh, train at the dojo to uh, find out uh, those types of secrets and stuff. There's a lot of secrets that uh, about the shizoku. It's not just you know blending in and stuff like that. That's just part of it. There's a lot of uh, kuden, a lot of secrets that you can do with the shizoku. Uh, for your benefit when you, you know, go on your mission or when you're training or whatever. Um, so it's not just dressing up, um, you know, like a ninja, pretending to be a ninja. There's actually uh, things that you can do with this as a tool to help you, um, you know, out there in the field. So uh, thank you very much. Arigato gozaimasu.